All right, it looks like I have everything hooked up finally. Man, I'll tell you, trying to learn React is pretty tough. There's old stuff out there that doesn't work anymore. New stuff coming out all the time. ES6, React Router, all these modules that you can import. So trying to find the right information is hard because you gotta go all over the internet, look at blogs, Stack Overflow, maybe some YouTube stuff, maybe some other courses that have been outdated for quite a while. Well, there are some places out there that claim to have everything in one spot. One of those is tylermcginnis.com. Tyler is solely focused on React Center development. But is it worth the price? Let's go ahead and find out. All right, here we are at tylermcginnis.com. And Tyler solely focuses on React, which is so nice. There are a ton of learning sites, but I haven't found one that has only React stuff and it's all in one spot. I really do like that. One thing that is new with Tyler McGinnis is that he is guaranteed to be up to date within 60 days. This just barely came out. So uh, there is a huge plus there. But before we get into any courses or anything like that, let's look at some of the free content so you can see for yourself if this is worth it. There is a blog area, and some of this stuff is included in some of the courses, actually. You can kind of try before you buy. Uh, so definitely check this out. Uh, it's good to get some free content, kind of get a feel for how Tyler works. And then we also have a newsletter here. You can sign up to get notifications when things go out. A huge one here is reviews. Uh, he has a lot of testimonials here. Uh, very many. Uh, so many that I couldn't go through them all. And even underneath that, a bunch of Twitter posts. So who takes these courses? People from Salesforce, Google, Apple, very reputable companies. Uh, we have courses on React, Modern JavaScript. The cool thing here is that he'll let you know how long ago it was updated, how many lessons, and how many minutes. You can um, you can really uh, kind of organize your, your priorities here and see which courses you should watch. So he has a bunch of stuff here and new additions came from Udacity. Part of the deal that he had with Udacity was that after a set amount of time, he could bring those courses over to his own platform, which is great. I took the Udacity React Now degree, didn't finish it, but it's nice to know that the courses are here so I can go ahead and uh, get these done and not have to feel so guilty about not finishing the React uh, Udacity Now degree. Uh, he can tell you who these are for, great stuff, why you should invest in React, really give you a lot of stuff to make a decision. So, with that said, how much does this all cost? Well, let's take a look here. Alright, so here you can see if you do the yearly plan of $180, it comes out to be $15 a month. That is pretty cheap. And even if you decide to go monthly, it's only $20 a month. Again, that is dirt cheap, even compared to sites like uh, Pluralsight, which is $30 a month. Uh, the thing is, is it's a very uh, focused amount of courses. It's all on React. Still, I think it's great. If you're learning React, that is a good price. But how do the courses actually stack up? Well, let's go ahead and log in. Here we are at my account. You can see things I've gone through, React Fundamentals, Modern JavaScript, the new Redux course, uh, React Router. I've gone through, I think, some other ones, but they're no longer uh, relevant. He's replaced them. Uh, so you can see that I've gone through these. I, it's not like I'm making this up or I haven't put any time into them. I've also done the React Fundamentals on Udacity but uh, they're not here, but I do have a course on that if you're curious. So let's dive into some of these and just see how the courses are laid out. Here you can see it's pretty standard stuff with uh, online learning courses. We have the, uh, the course material here, and if we click into one of these, it goes to the side and we get a video. So let's go ahead and play one of these. Whenever I'm learning anything new, what I like to do before I actually dive into the details is to take a step back and ask myself two questions. The first is, why does this thing exist? This As you can see, there is a good audio quality. The picture is nice. The way that it is laid out is pretty nice. Previous, complete. Uh, is this responsive though? Is it responsive? Look at that. It's also responsive. So you could play this on a different device or have it in uh, split in half like this if you want to do some coding and have it on one monitor and then the other. Uh, Little things like that, of course, they're to be expected, but sometimes it doesn't work. So it's nice to know that Tyler's courses work that way. And here you can see you get quizzes too. So you can go through this and, and see if you're right or wrong. We were wrong. 
No. So it's just standard, you know, quizzes that keep you on track. But cool thing is, is that he has text that goes along with the videos. So if you learn something, you can go through a document and read it and uh, get it from a different angle. I really like the way this is laid out. I, I enjoy having multiple sources to learn something. And this is a great way to keep it all in one spot or have it served up differently. I, I do like this. So let's actually look at some code here. So let's see a different video down here. Video making a Ajax request in React. So now what we want to do, now that we have the specific URL that we need to hit, what we can do is we're going to return. So you can see that the audio is good. The uh, video quality is good. I will say one thing though. Tyler in some of the older courses can be very fast. So you have to pay attention. You may have to rewind. You have to pause. I've gotten used to it. But if you're not used to doing that, you might find it aggravating. Just uh, fair warning, the content in here is good, but you have to pay attention and you have to be able to either type super fast and be able to pay attention or pause the video, maybe re rewind it. Uh, in his later videos, he has gotten a lot better. Uh, not saying that these were bad. These are good but he has gotten better over time. So let's look at something like the Redux course. Here's the Redux course. Again, it's set up the same way, uh, but full disclosure, I do have a full year membership, if I haven't said that already. And um, Tyler did actually consult me on this Redux course to see how he could make it better. Now, do I get any kickback from that? Absolutely not. But um, I definitely did talk to him about my frustrations with uh, learning Redux and things that I found really helpful. And he was able to incorporate some of that into this course. And I do feel like it came together much nicer. Again, you know, I gave him a ton of feedback from me personally. He reached out, we talked over the phone. It was great stuff. Uh, let's see uh, one of these videos. <laughs> As of right now, our app is looking pretty good. We have our to-dos reducer, we have our create store function, and then we have all of our actions up here. Now, what makes this course super unique is that Redux is hard to learn, right? He makes his own version of Redux and you get to go through it with him and understand that. You can tell that uh, he's put a lot of thought process into his courses and how to take you from zero or as close to zero as you can get and bring you up to speed. Another thing I should point out is with the React fundamentals and modern JavaScript, those can be linked together. Uh, this teaches you everything with ES5 and then you take the same project and you put it into modern JavaScript and do it in ES6. Uh, it's things like this that really help link things together. This was a course that actually uh, gave me a breakthrough in React. I could uh, understand how the old way of doing things in React worked, and I didn't have my ES6 totally up to date, but this got me there. Did I learn everything in ES6? No, absolutely not. But I could go to different blogs, old blogs with create React app uh, in there, and then new blogs with the ES6 stuff and, and put them together and take what I needed to. So thinking like this is, uh, is what Tyler has done with these courses. And because it's like so focused on React, uh, it really helps uh, improve your learning because you have everything in one spot. You're not trying to take a hodgepodge of different things and, and try to, you know, find out where where to connect the dots. It's done for you, like with courses like this and the Redux. Great stuff. So is it worth it? Well, as I said, Tyler gave me a free membership and I used it over the last year. So... I haven't used it personally for the $15, but guess what? I will, I will uh, once that is over because it's that good. It really is worth $15 or $20 a month um, just because I haven't found a place that has everything in one spot. For instance, React Router. This whole course has everything you need to know on React Router. I have not found another course like that. This is where I get all my stuff for React Router. It's what I used in the beginning of this video to hook up my portfolio. And if you wanna know more about how I'm using some of these things with React and some of Tyler's things, check out my uh, portfolio series with uh, React Router. It'll be in a video at the end of this video. If you like this content, let me know by giving me a like or subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell notification if you want to get notifications every time I do an upload. What do you think? Are you going to go ahead and look into this yourself? Uh, why? If not, why not? Uh, if you have questions for me, you can always leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. That's gonna do it for today's review. Thanks for coming along and I will see you next time.